Hi, I'm Webhav from the Visa Developer Team. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a CSR or Certificate Signing Request file using Java Key Tool. Why create a CSR file? It's required to obtain a certificate if you're using an API that uses two-way mutual SSL authentication. To learn about mutual authentication, make sure to watch that tutorial where we explain what that is and why we use it. Before we start, it's important to note that a separate CSR file is required for the certification and production environments. If an API requires certification prior to going live in the production environment, you will be following this process twice. First, to obtain credentials for certification, and then again, to obtain credentials for production. Credentials for production will be provided once a signed relevant contract is in place between you and Visa. Two common tools for requesting mutual authentication credentials are key tool for Java implementations and OpenSSL. Right now, we'll create our CSR file for certification environment using Java key tool. We'll cover OpenSSL in a separate tutorial. So let's get started. By going to search on your Windows computer, then typing in CMD. Open the application. Once it's ready, the first thing we need to do is open the location where we'll store our project and CSR files. We advise being as organized as possible with your project. So to that end, I created a folder here. As you can see, I have a project and folder, each for sandbox, certification, and production. The three environments for our projects. Now, since the CSR is for certification, I'm going to click on that folder. This is where I will store my CSR file and key store file. Next, I click on the location and copy this link off the folder, highlight it, right click and select copy. Now I go back to the command prompt and type in CD, the command we use to change to that directory. Then we right click and paste the location and press enter. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is create our CSR file. We have this command in the going live guide on Visa Developer. So you can always refer to that to get to it. First, we're going to paste this command. Now you'll need to enter each piece of information. So let's start from the beginning with store pass. I'll use Visa123 as our password. The key pass can be the same Visa123. Next is the domain name. For the common name, this field must be a fully qualified domain name that belongs to your organization and which will be connecting to Visa. This is the format the domain name should follow. The format should be alias slash hostname dot domain name dot com. As an example, I'll use services dot visa dot com. Note that you should not use wild characters for the host name and also the host name should not start with www. Next is organizational unit name. This is the name of your division within your organization. An example would be debit card processing unit. Next is organization name. Here I'll use Bank of USA. Then the locality name. This should be a valid city name such as San Francisco. Note, locality name should not be abbreviated. You should spell out the full locality name. The state name is the name of the state or province where the server is located. Be sure to spell out the state name completely, no abbreviations. Here, I'll use California. For the country name, we use the two letter ISO 3166-1 country code. Here we'll say US. This should be the CSR unique ID appended with dash cert or dash prod to indicate the environment. To get the CSR unique ID, go to going live, scroll down to certification signing request CSR, click on start CSR visit and click copy.
Next, make sure you close the command with a quotation mark. Once you've closed the command, hit enter. This will generate your key store file. Okay, great. Now you'll need to create a new CSR file using this key tool command. Where it says store pass, put in the password we entered above. In this case, capital V and visa123 and put in the same password for key pass since we use the same password, then enter. You can confirm that your CSR file was created by going back to your project folder and seeing the new CSR file. Next, we're going to upload the CSR file to our project. Go back to your dashboard and click on going live. Scroll down to certification section and then click on Start CSR Visit. Then click on the plus sign to add the file. Then go back to the folder with the new CSR file and drag the file over to the CSR file wizard. Once you see the file uploaded, click Next. Put in your phone number and then click Next again. Before you submit the CSR file, you'll have a chance to review all the information you've entered. Here, you can see the common name, organizational unit, organization name, locality, state, country, and UID. It's important to remember that once you hit submit, you can't revert. Visa Developer will reject the file if there's an error. So make sure to review it carefully one final time before you submit. Hit submit and you'll be taken back to the dashboard where you can see that your CSR file has been submitted successfully. After that, Visa Developer will review the CSR file you submitted and send you an email when all has been approved and you'll be good to go. And that's it. I hope this has been helpful. If you do want additional guidance, make sure to check out the community forums or contact us directly at developer at visa.com. Thanks for watching.